The sales and packing summary sheet is a new addition to the spreadsheet. We just added it in December of 2019. And the reason I added this was because, so we just took a good look at the crop planner, but the, the crop planner is great for determining the number of trays we need to sow. Like that's its main goal. And then inputting the information when we do our harvest to make sure we sowed the right number and adjust accordingly. But it also basically tells us who our clients are and how much of each crop uh, they should get. And it's really hard to pull that information from that spreadsheet. So this one here is sort of a summary a spreadsheet that breaks it down into a, a simpler uh, format. So uh, this is done with script. I won't get into that. It's, it's a little more uh, advanced than the rest of the spreadsheet. And so here's how it works. So first thing is you select the day you want to do a summary for. So either Tuesday or Friday. We're going to do a Tuesday. We're going to do January the 8th. So if we were doing a Friday, we'd select Friday, then choose our Friday date. Um, so this is the most important one. Which, what's the day and which date? Once we've done that, we hit Run Summary. Now what this does is it starts pulling information from the Crop Planner, and it's going to summarize here. So it lays it all out for us in a format that's a little easier to follow and gives a little bit of formatting so we can have more of a quick reference. So you can see it's sort of putting information in there as it accumulates it from the crop planner, breaks it all down, and then totals it up and throws a little bit of color in there to make it easier to read. So now I know quickly I can look at restaurant one and go I need two large sunflower, one large pea, one large radish. Quite easy there. And, and I can look at them, kind of go through. I, just, I can just do them like this even, just restaurant five, restaurant six. I can do a really quick double check. I can also print this. So the other thing I can do is I can scroll up like this, and this is basically my packing list. I need 16 small sunflower, 18 large sunflower, 10 small pea, uh, 10 small radish. So it, it's a really quick reference in that regard. A few things you, you might want to do here. Uh, I didn't want to make this too detailed. Um, but for example, if you pre-pack for the farmer's market in small uh, um, uh, packages, great, then this is perfect. But if you don't, then what you might want to do, because sometimes you might pack at the market, is I want to add up those uh, these four here and put a four here. And then this equals uh, this minus this. I'm just doing a little more calculation here. And it uh, gives me just a little um, a calculation there. And, and this basically means I'm going to pack 12, even though I need the equivalent of 16, because I don't pre-pack my farmer's market stuff. I just take it and bag it at the market. Uh, that might be a little advanced for people, uh, but it's really easy to do. And you could just do that on a crop by crop basis. Another thing you can do is kind of copy these cells here, and you can actually just paste them down here. And then you've got a quicker reference there. So then I've got my sunflower and my pea and everything there. So you can do anything you want in this, essentially, anything below this line, everything above it. Um, Basically, you don't want to start messing with stuff here because it'll, it'll mess up the script. But when I go to run the summary again, what it's going to do, the first thing it does is clear everything away. So it makes it really, really easy to, um, to, uh, to, to make those changes and then just, yeah, let it run again. So this is a new addition to make things a little easier to summarize. Uh, it's drawing completely from the crop planner which means uh, you cannot edit the crop planner. You cannot add columns. You cannot add rows because then the script doesn't work. The rules are going to change because the, move, the, 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 uh, the script works on relationships. And if you add anything, you're going to be changing those relationships. So once again, the simple summary page here. Now what you can do is, uh, and I'll just do an example here, is well, you've got a couple options. So if you want to, you can hit Control P, and it's going to print this. I'm going to do it in portrait mode here. I'll, stay, I'll keep it in landscape mode. Why not? Um, you can do whatever you want for, for margins and things like that. This just makes it a little bigger. So this could give you a really quick reference you might want to have uh, in, in your production site somewhere. Um, actually, I'm going to do a step back here. What I would actually do is I would um, start here and I would select these cells because this is all I want. And when I hit Control P, I can go up to the top here and go do Selected Cells. So you can see how much bigger that makes it. I only want this information, so this makes it real simple. Um, oh, why did you uh, double that information there? It's interesting. Okay, anyways. 
That's a funny little glitch, but uh, deal with it for now. Uh, so yeah, this gives you a, something you can print. You could have it in your packing area. You could have it in your uh, your delivery area. Things like that as a quick, quick reference. And then you could you could save this as a PDF and file it away as a quick reference. Uh, you could print it. You could just keep your prints if you want to look back and look at what your sales were for the week. Uh, or, or you've got another option here. So the next tab is our week by week order archive. And basically what I've done is I've taken these cells actually just from here on. So I've got my date here that I want to get in. I'm going to take all this and I'm going to copy that with a control C and I'm going to come over here and these you can see I've already actually pasted two in here from before. So what this does is this creates a bit of an archive of what happened uh, on each of these days. The reason being if you start changing things in the spreadsheet like if you change sunflower halfway through the season it actually changes sunflower in the past as well because that uh, applies to all the sunflowers so it's a little bit of a weakness um, but what this does is it gives you a record of what did uh, did occur and so when you go to paste that here I'll just paste this one down here um, I'm going to do control V and I'm going to do paste special I'm going to paste the values only because uh, I, I don't want uh, any of the format I basically just want the values is what you're doing uh, and then it pay, puts everything down here. So it's just a quick summary. The date ends up being a little a little wonky, so you can just select those cells. Uh, I've got it on simple version here. You can go to format, number, and then just select your date, and then you can see it changes those. You can do that at any time, so it doesn't have to be ha something that happens now. Then what I do is I find the top row here. I come over to the left. I select this, and I select all these. I right click here and I go to group rows and that's what creates this uh, this breakdown here so that way I can close this up close this up close this up and you can see now I've got a quick reference of all these different dates now in this case they're all the same dates because uh, I'm just testing them but uh, you can see that you could just have your Tuesday Friday Tuesday Friday they'll alternate I left a space on this one which I can take out just for consistency so when I break these down, they're going to be right up snug against each other. But our goal is to be able to have a quick reference here. So you're going to, it's just going to alternate Tuesday, Friday, which means I'm going to look at this harvest date then this harvest date. And this allows me to do a quick reference. This is really good if I want to do a quick reference and kind of go, hey, it's, it's now uh, January 2020 or 2021. What did we do last year? Let's take a look. Okay, well, we were doing, you know, 68 small sunflower and 52 small pea. How does what we're doing now compare to what we used to do? So it's a real easy way to have a quick reference of what, what, what happened in the past year. So the sales and packing summary sheet, once again, all you're going to do is, actually all you really need to do is click summary here, run summary here, and it's going to run that and draw the information for you. And then as I ran through, you can copy and uh, uh, print that. Uh, so you have a version, a paper version on site and you can copy it and move it over to the week by week order archive and that way you've got a record of it for the future. So this is basically how we take the information in our crop planner and summarize it and then archive it for future reference. So a lot of information there I know but I'm hoping that this uh, this here actually simplifies the use of the spreadsheet quite significantly for people who are already using it and make using it much easier uh, for uh, people who are new.